This is exciting. Yes, what you see here are all the options you can use to record using vMaker. As promised, we give you three options. One to just record your screen, then to just record your camera, and finally to record both. The highlighted option is your choice. In this tutorial, we're going to explore both the screen and cam option. If you don't want to show your live feed, no worries, switch to static picture. We'll show you how. Next comes the question of what do you want to record? Your entire screen? Just a window perhaps? Or go pro and use the custom dimensions. The green tick indicates your choice, and for the time being, we go with the window. To begin, hit the start recording. The countdown is ticked on and you go on record with a pop. We couldn't help but add a bit of pizzazz. Okay, now the recording has begun. Now we look at the larger options all the way here onto the sides of the screen. This red button here not only stops the recording, but also instantly uploads it online. This is the pause button. Remember to click on it again to restart your recording. Let's suppose you want to cancel the video recording. You click on this camera option. It stops recording and it doesn't upload it to the cloud. If you want to add an oomph factor to your recording or simply break down a complex screen that you're explaining, we have a couple of features just for you. You can now draw on the screen, essentially using it as a whiteboard or highlight sections to draw attention easily. We also have a range of colors to help the markings stand out against any background. Be picky and have fun with freeform drawing too. This concludes everything you need to know while recording, so we're going to go ahead and click the red button over here. Poof! It's getting uploaded online to vMaker's cloud. Now comes the post-production. Moving on to the browser, let's see what's in store. Alright, so here's the uploaded video. Below you can see the date stamp and the name of the creator. The basic stuff. Rename the video to your desired name for the recording. All you have to do is click and type. Adjacent to that are four options. The delete option removes it permanently, so use it cautiously. Using the duplicate option, you can create a second copy. It comes in handy if you're feeling particularly experimental and don't want to affect your work, or just to create a backup. Now let's go to the edits. Rub your hands together as the page opens up. We've got pro options for you on a platter. Below is the time slider. It can mute audio entirely. We also have an undo option in the top bar and right next to it is the copy option. We've spared you the worry of having to click save every time. All of your changes are auto-saved and you can always download your video at any point in time. When you roll over to the video, you see more options, trim, merge, swap, flip, etc. You can use these to enhance and edit your video. 